Welcome to the Pure Optimization Guide, your go-to resource for unlocking the full potential of your gaming experience in Escape from Tarkov. Today I'm going to cover monitor configuration. In this video, we'll explore the nuances of monitor settings, unveiling how subtle adjustments can lead to substantial enhancements in your gameplay and enjoyment of the game. I'll be using my Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 as a demonstration, but the principles we cover here apply universally. Keep in mind that monitor preferences are highly subjective, so what works for me may differ for you and differ again for the next person. It's crucial to understand each setting's function and how to customize them to your own liking. So let's go optimize your setup for peak performance. Before we get started, there are six key terms that we'll be exploring in this video. Resolution, refresh rate, brightness, contrast, color temperature, and gamma. These fundamentals serve as the backbone of monitor optimization for gaming, in my opinion. Mastering the nuances of these settings will give you the ability to fine tune any monitor for an optimal gaming experience. First up is resolution. This refers to the number of pixels displayed on the screen horizontally and vertically. It determines the clarity and level of detail in images and text displayed on your monitor. A higher resolution means more pixels, resulting in sharper and more detailed visuals. Common resolutions include Full HD at 1920 by 1080 pixels, Quad HD which is 2560 by 1440 pixels, and Ultra HD or 4K which is 3840 by 2160 pixels. I recommend setting your display resolution to match your monitor's native maximum resolution. Refresh rate refers to the number of times per second that a monitor updates its display. It's measured in Hertz, which is abbreviated as HZ. Higher refresh rates result in smoother and more fluid motion on the screen. A higher refresh rate allows for faster updates of the image. This reduces motion blur and provides a more responsive gaming experience in the end. For gamers, a higher refresh rate such as 144 or 240 can significantly enhance your gameplay experience by providing smoother motion and reducing input lag. Next up is brightness. While it's a familiar setting for most, tuning brightness for gaming requires a little different approach compared to everyday use, at least in my opinion. When gaming, I aim for maximum brightness to amplify visibility in darker areas while preserving details in brighter scenes. This adjustment ensures that there's a good gaming experience tailored to the demands of each scenario in whatever game I'm playing. So here's how I personally adjust it on my Neo G8. I do the same thing with my G7 over here. In fact, I follow the same configuration steps for each monitor that I have. So any monitor can end up on different settings though because each one has a different default configuration. So as long as you understand each of these settings, you'll be able to configure any display to your ideal preferences like I said earlier. For Tarkov, I run a brightness setting of 90. Contrast is the difference between the brightest and darkest parts of an image displayed on the screen. It's essentially the range of tones between pure white and pure black. Adjusting contrast can significantly impact the visual depth and clarity of the image as well as the overall kind of uh, vibrancy or saturation of the colors. A higher contrast ratio gives you more pronounced differences between light and dark areas. So it gives you more detail and it improves the image quality in general. But sometimes having a lot of detail makes it hard to see in situations where there's a lot to see. Like in Tarkov where you have fields of grass, trees, and you're trying to make out enemies between all that. Sometimes lowering the contrast can actually help you distinguish things from each other a little more easily. For Tarkov, I run my contrast setting between 60 and 70. Adjusting the color temp of your monitor can affect the overall color balance of the image, impacting how the colors are perceived by you. A higher color temperature, like 6500K or higher, tends to produce cooler, bluer tones that feel like icy a little bit, while a lower color temperature 
around 5000 K or lower results in warmer, redder tones. I tend to keep my colors in a warm or neutral setting. I prefer not to use cool. I feel like it strains my eyes a little more. Gamma is the tool that controls how bright or dark the different shades of color appear on your screen. It's like adjusting the lighting in a room to set the mood just right. When we tweak the gamma, we're essentially fine tuning the balance between light and dark in the image. Increasing gamma will make the mid tones darker, which makes shadows deeper and it adds more contrast. If you lower the gamma, it makes the mid tones lighter, reduces the contrast, and it usually makes the overall image feel brighter. I run gamma mode 2 on my Neo G8 for Tarkov. Response time refers to how quickly pixels on the screen change from one color to another. A lower response time results in smoother motion and reduced ghosting or blurring. This is particularly important for gaming and any type of fast paced content. So adaptive sync synchronizes the refresh rate of the monitor with the frame rate outputted by the graphics card. The low input lag mode on a Samsung Odyssey monitor is a feature designed to minimize the delay between your actions like moving your mouse or pressing a key and the corresponding response on the screen. Input lag, as we know, can affect your gaming experience by causing a delay in your commands. This leads to slower response times and potentially impacts your performance in fast-paced games like Escape from Tarkov or Call of Duty Warzone. When you enable low input lag mode, the monitor prioritizes processing speed. This reduces the time it takes for your actions to register on the screen. This is done by bypassing certain image processing functions that can introduce latency. So as a result, you'll get a more immediate and responsive connection between your input and the on-screen action. In essence, low input lag mode helps optimize your gaming experience by minimizing delays and ensuring that your actions are translated into gameplay with minimal latency. This can be really good for competitive gaming where split second reactions make all the difference. So I always leave this on. So I leave adaptive sync off in the monitor settings and I leave low input lag on. The black equalizer feature on a Samsung Odyssey monitor is designed to enhance visibility in dark areas of the screen without overexposing the brighter parts of it. So. Basically, it adjusts the brightness levels in the dark areas of the image, making them more visible while it maintains the overall balance of the picture. When you enable the black equalizer, it selectively brightens the dark areas of the screen, such as shadows or dimly lit corners, without affecting the brightness of brighter areas. This is really useful in games like Escape from Tarkov, where there's tons of dark scenes with tons of dark corners and tons of dimly lit areas. So. I think this is crucial for spotting enemies and if you have a Samsung Odyssey monitor make sure you tune this specifically to your preferences. By enhancing visibility in dark areas while preserving the overall contrast and balance of the image, the black equalizer helps to provide a clearer and more immersive gaming experience and I can attest to this personally. I usually leave my setting around 12 or 13. To achieve the ultimate visual experience, it's essential to fine tune not only your monitor settings but also your NVIDIA control panel or AMD adrenaline settings along with the in-game settings configurations. Each of these components plays a crucial role in optimizing your visual setup. So stay tuned for these upcoming guides dedicated to maximizing your experience with the NVIDIA control panel and AMD Adrenaline. If you haven't seen my settings guide, I have the links for it in my video description or you can jump in my Discord and I'd be happy to help you out. Like I was saying, I will be releasing in NVCP and AMD Adrenaline Guide shortly, so stay on the lookout for those. So that's gonna be a wrap for me today. I wanna take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who has joined me on this journey. Your viewership, support, your likes, your comments, they mean more to me than I can really express through words. It's because of you that I'm able to pursue my dream of creating content full-time and every single interaction brings me closer to that goal. 
So as I continue to grow and evolve, I'm thankful for everyone who's joined me along this journey and has been part of this adventure. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And when I do achieve my dreams, I'm going to look back and remember each and every one of you, all right? So I'm going to get back to the grind, and I'll see you in the next one.